Hello everybody. I'm sat on myself. <laughs> What's today? Today's Wednesday. How about that? I've actually caught up for once. I don't don't hold your breath. I don't know it's gonna last for much longer. Um I'm gonna aim to try and do another one at the weekend. But um yeah, life keeps doing its thing and it's good, but life keeps doing its thing. Right, okay, so we are on block three, four, six, on block eight. Um, of Wish Quilt 6, which is Christmas bouquets, um, with the variation log cabin wreath in the centre. You can see I've put the blocks up there. Um, today's one, I like, I like some of them now, don't I? Always doing them. Um, it's candle. Look, there we go. It's a dribbly candle. <laughs> I like dribbly candles. Um, if I'd had half a chance, it would have been if it would have a different shaped block. And I did tempt with this, I'd have had a big bottle with a dribbly candle. Or, <laughs> and then I thought, oh, maybe I'm going over the top again. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We've got a, a Christmas candle with a bit of holly. Now, you're probably getting the idea that I like my holly because it's on one, two, three. This will be the fourth one that it's on. You're probably now seeing where I'm going with one of the things that are going to tie the quilt together with all the different blocks. The holly is making an appearance just about everywhere. Um, and if I can figure out a way to do it quite easily, I might might have to be a, an appliqued holly wreath as well as the wreath in the centre. That might be quite nice. That was a, a, a suggestion earlier, because I keep asking you, what do you want me to do? Somebody said um, holly and ivy. I've got in mind already to do like a holly wreath if I can figure out a way of doing it nicely for you, that it's not going to be too complicated and just too much. I've got an idea. We'll see what happens. All right. So that might happen next. Anyway, so we've got a, a nice um, candle going on with dribbly bits and um, holly at the bottom. All right. As normal, I've done your brief pattern. What I have done with this one is I've pieced the background. Let me show you closely again. If you look at the background, there's all sorts of different fabrics in there. Um, I thought that might be quite nice and it goes with a couple of the others that are sort of happening as well. You could just use your plain cream if that's what you wanted. I actually wanted my candle to stand out more. If it was if it was near the, the too near all of that cream, I don't think it would stand out at all. As it is, I've had to put sli like a slightly darker around but I've got a, a very pale greenish and blue behind there as well to make it sort of sit. Now, I didn't have enough different pale greens and things to, to make that work. So what I've done is I've turned a green fabric around. Can you see? So we've got some, some quite full on green there, which was too much for what I wanted, but on the back, it works, all right? Don't ever be afraid to use the wrong side of the fabric. If it's going to give you the colour and the design and whatever you need, use it. It's all good, isn't it? So there we are. So that's today's. You don't have to do the piece background. You could just do a plain one. Um, and you don't necessarily have to have the dribbly bits on the candle if they're too fiddly for you, then that's fine. All right. So there we go. Block eight is a candle. Um, so what else is going on? Well, I've, I've, I'm laughing my socks off. I said the other day, didn't I, that hubby Paul has had a late. Oh, there's a cat and it looked like he's got a mouse. No, he's not. He's OK. Oh, I was all upset then for a moment as he was walking past. Now he's, he's sat by the door waiting to come in. If he really wants to come in, there's a window open over there. He can do that. Um, yeah, hubby. I was saying about his new hobby. He's found wood turning and he made me a cracking bowl um that i can put a pin cushion in the middle of and then use it as a tray because i go in and out of the house with stuff that i'm working with so that was my one all right um i've got i said metallic the other day and i actually meant magnetic pin cushion that sits in the center there quite happily but what you could do is actually make yourself a little pin cushion and put it in the center and then You've got all of this to carry your bits and pieces and your scissors and whatever else with. Um, if anyone fancies one, one of these has gone out posted today. If anyone fancies one, do say, give us a shout. The prices on these will all vary because it depends on the piece of wood and how much they charge for the pieces. They call them blanks, apparently. Look, can you see? 
bowls, all manner of, all all sorts of shapes and things going. On. He he. It's quite funny. I shouldn't laugh. Um. For years, he thought I've been bol barking mad, bonkers, because I'll come out here in my in my studio, in my cupboard, as I call it. I could be gone for days. Not a problem. There's always something to be doing, yeah? And I don't think he's ever truly understood it. And my collecting of... That's a piece of tulip. That's quite green. That's, that's lovely, that one. Um, collecting of fabric. Because <laughs> he's never had a hobby in that manner. He's, he's done diving and motorbikes and all that sort of stuff. But he's found wood turning. I've got bowls out my ear holes. He's spending hours on eBay and absolutely everywhere looking for these wood blanks and going to builders, merchants and all sorts. <laughs> A bandsaw arrived yesterday. I thought I was bad with my gadgets. He's now got this huge lathe. He's got an electric sharpenery thing. Then he had some other sort of clampy stuff going on that I never saw arrive and he'd snuck that in and put it in place. And then this whopping great thing arrived yesterday. And I'm like, is it half a tree? Because it was quite big. And he's like, oh no, that'll be my bandsaw. Bandsaw? <sighs> I have to keep quiet because I've got more than enough sewing machines and fabric. But it's just making me laugh. All of a sudden he understands me on a different level. Do you get that problem? I don't know. I, I thought it was... It was I'm sure others do. It was not just me, is it? That doesn't don't understand the um, obsessiveness of it. If you get into a hobby, I'm obsessed with patchwork and fabric and anything art and textile and, and touchy feely and doing. And I have done all my life. I've had some sort of an obsession along that line. Um, and now all of a sudden, he's joined the ranks. He got up this morning. <laughs> this is his day off today. He got up. So what are we doing today? Oh, well, I've got to do this, got to do that, got to do that. All right, okay. Well, I've never seen him move so quick and do everything so that he was out in his garage <laughs> and then he's come in and he's brought another bowl in. He's having a whale of time. And I'm like, this is all very well, but you do seriously need to sell some of them, okay? So this is bringing me on to my, if anybody sees any here that they fancy, I might take some photos and put them over on the website because actually, do you know what? They are a bit good. I am... Um, stunned how good he's doing and if you want one of these specials you'll have to shout and order that and as i say they do vary in price depending on what the sort of wood that's um spelted something is it written on that spelted beach what was that one spelted beach maybe it might be spelted beach it's a bit like saying is it a batik or a normal cotton <laughs> I think it's fabulous. I really think it's fabulous that people create and get into things. Um, do you know what? If you know anybody that's not got any sort of a creative hobby and they're struggling through all of this lockdown and stuff, get them into doing something. Even if it's only a little bit of cross-stitch that doesn't take a lot of room, won't cost an awful lot of money. Do, do you know? Get them creating. It is so good for the brain cells. It really is. I'm so chuffed. Ah. I am wittering again, and I'm sorry. Candle. We like that. All right. So I'll put the pattern and the photo of that over on Abby Ann's Patchwork Witterings for you, or Patchwork Witterings of Abby Ann, or, or something like that, isn't it? Um, so that you can have a little look and, and make your own version of that. Now, I will say, if anybody's going over onto YouTube, or you're on YouTube watching, because otherwise you wouldn't be hearing me, would you? Duh daft isn't it would you please subscribe to my channel all right there is a devious method in this that in further down the line it can help my business all right so even if you never watch them again would you mind subscribing it didn't cost you anything um but it might do me a turn of good further down the line please i would really appreciate that if you could thank you ah, tell your friends your neighbors husbands anybody get them all to subscribe <laughs> be fab doesn't mean to say that they have to pay anything and they don't necessarily have to watch me i don't mind um but i would seriously um 
appreciate the support. Is that good? Right, okay, so I'm going to be off and away and I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to say the three things is no more. We need a bit of exercise. Well, I'm going off down, down and doing a bit of, bit of shopping in a minute. That's my exercise for the day, which is not enough. And I'm fully aware of that, but there we go. It's something. Tidying, pff, yeah. Friends, as I just said, say hello to everybody. Get them doing a bit of something if you can. Make sure everybody's right. Check on everybody because there's even more of you locked down now. Um, we're fortunate where we are down here in Cornwall at the minute that we're okay for a moment. Um, we're on, is it level one or something? We're on the, on the basic one that it's six people and distancing. So we're lucky and we appreciate that. Yeah, we're lucky. So there we are. Be good and um, be lovely.